exactly what you want to see. Let's run this puppy in. Score a touchdown and tie this game. Life, run for your life, touchdown on one play. Worked on this in practice. Touchdown. It's up to Kelvin Benjamin. This is all you, buddy. Kelvin Benjamin for a touchdown. Oh, he toasted his man. Holmes toasted his man. Spin move. Oh! Oh! What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on the Water Juice channel and welcome back to week number six of our Ohio State Buckeyes pregame and preview of their game on Saturday. Can you believe that we are already six weeks into the season? Feels like this season's already flying by. And this week, the Ohio State University will take on Maryland, or as I like to call them, Maryland. So... This is an interesting matchup because I don't really know what to make of Maryland. They started the season out pretty strong, looked very good, and then last week they took on what is becoming the best defense in, in the entire entirety of college football in Iowa and got absolutely just smacked. They got bent over and clapped by that Iowa defense. So I don't know what to make of this team. Maybe... Maybe it was just a one-week thing, and Iowa's defense is just that good that uh, they had to they had to react, and they couldn't react quick enough. And uh, Tua's brother, I think his name is Talia or Talia. I'm I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. I have never known how to pronounce his first name. I'm not sure if a lot of people do know how to pronounce it, but I'm just gonna call him Tua's brother. <laughs> I don't want to call him that, but I am gonna have to call him that. So he is the quarterback of Maryland, and he's not a freshman. He's like a junior at this point, I think, or, or a redshirt sophomore or something like that. So he's been around college football. He's played some college football. He started some games, and he struggled in that Iowa game. So I don't really know what to make of this Maryland team. Are they going to be good? I'm, I'm sure they're going to be better than Rutgers. Uh, a lot of people are better than Rutgers. But I don't really see this team making the Buckeye defense sweat that much. Now, I could be wrong. That could be me thinking that this Ohio State team is better than they are. This defense is not very good, this Buckeye defense. We know that. We've talked about that over the past uh, five weeks. So I don't see how the, the Maryland team is going to push the ball down the field against this Buckeye defense, especially the way that, that the corners have played. Like, the corners and safeties for this Buckeye team have played really well. Ronnie Hickman leads the team in tackles. Denzel Burke is amazing as a true freshman. This team is playing really well on the secondary side of things. Their defensive line is getting tremendous pressure at this point. Um, I don't know where it was at the start of the season, but I guess they just needed to build their confidence against bad teams like Akron and Rutgers uh, to, to get their confidence back up and be able to realize like oh i'm a better athlete than these guys i'm stronger than these guys i can push right through these guys i'm faster than these guys like so i guess it just took two teams two really bad teams to uh to bring that out but i'm glad it's out now because maryland's a better team than Rutgers, but they're not much better i wouldn't think they're getting better and Rutgers is getting better too but the only thing i'm really worried about is this linebacker core because the linebackers at Ohio State have, over the past couple of years, have been notorious, notoriously been known to be very, very slow. Look like they're running in sand or running in mud because they are just clunky. They look clunky and slow, and they're not very, they don't seem to be very athletic and stuff. So I'm a little bit worried that they're going to have to cover these running backs and tight ends for Maryland that could be or are super athletic. So I'm a little bit worried about that. Uh, as far as offensively, C.J. Stroud showed me some things last week against Rutgers that impressed me. I'm glad that he actually took some time and ran the football because that shows, I talked about this last week, you need to run the football with the quarterback so that it puts that on film and it makes the defense of the other team have to think about that. Because if you're in a situation where it's like third and three and you're in the shotgun formation and you, you're, you line up with like a, a RPO or a, or a play action or something like that, that... That stuff works because then the linebackers have to play it safe because they don't know if you're going to tuck it and run or if you're going to give it to the running back or if you're going to pass it. Like There's so many different things that they have to worry about when you add in the run game with the quarterback. And I'm glad that CJ started to do that. Now, I don't know if he was afraid to run the football because his shoulder was hurting all those weeks. So I, didn't know if, I don't know if he didn't want to take a hit like that 
uh, and risk injuring it even more. But now that it seems to be healthy, and last week he looked really good. He didn't overthrow a single pass. He looked on point. That was his best game, I think, that I've watched uh, this season. I know he's had some big numbers throughout the first five weeks, but or I guess four weeks because he missed one game. But I think that was obviously his best week, just performance-wise and ability-wise. He looked really good. He felt confident. He was slinging the ball around. He made amazing plays. The play that he had the touchdown to Chris Olave where he evaded the sack, got out of pressure, ran to the sideline, still made a pass to Olave, and then Olave did the rest. I, like That's what a veteran quarterback does in pressure situations, and C.J. Stroud did that, and that's a good thing. I, like, I'm super excited to see what C.J. Stroud can do. He just needs to keep building this confidence, and obviously we don't have to even discuss Travion Henderson because everybody knows how I feel about Travion Henderson. He is, he could, I want him to be my father because he is, he's amazing. Like he is the best running back in the league in the, in the country. I keep saying league. He is the best running back in the, in the country. No doubt about it. Forget about the Texans, the Texas Longhorn running back. Forget about the Iowa state running back. Forget about it all. Travion Henderson is the best running back in the country. Give him that Heisman right now. Three straight Heisman, baby. Freshman, junior, freshman, sophomore, junior. All three straight. Now, for score predictions, I'm going to say it's going to be a closer game than I would probably feel comfortable with. And by close game, I'm not saying like it's a one score, two score game. Um, I'm feeling maybe a 45 14 game. Buckeyes win 45 14. Does that feel right? I don't know. It feels kind of, it feels kind of weird. I feel like they should score more points, but you never really know how this Maryland defense is going to play. Obviously, this is the big noon kickoff. I'm so happy that they're actually back on on Fox on noon because I'm so sick and tired of having uh, games at 3:30 or seven or, or whatever. Like, I just want give me the games at noon so I can watch it and get it over with. That's that's what I want. So I'm happy that that's actually going to happen. So, and if you guys just to close out, if you guys haven't noticed already, you probably already have. <laughs> I got a haircut, got the fresh cut, the fresh fade. So um, the videos that drop at six for the foreseeable future will have um, my old hair, uh, my longer hair, because those videos were recorded in advance. So the videos at noon will be updated, or at 11, I guess, in this case. Um, but the videos in the morning will be updated to current hairstyle. The videos at six for the foreseeable future will be um, pre previous hairstyle, longer hair. So I just want to let you guys in on that. So. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and watching. 45-14 is my final score for the Buckeye game. Smash that like button if you are excited. Hit that notification bell and the subscription. You might as well join the Juice Club, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.